trident maple or aselbrogenium uh, i can't even say it properly is native to the far, uh, the far east uh, china korea and japan uh, it's a very popular tree and a bonsai tree in japan it makes for um, medium to large size uh, bonsai um, as a tree it's uh, quite a tall tree it grows very rapidly it's a deciduous uh, tree the leaves are between uh, three and six centimeters uh, large. The leaves are trilobed, which is why it's called a trident uh, maple. Uh, it's full of character because the leaves um, get to be a nice coppery red color in, in autumn, which is why it is grown as a, as a bonsai. Its bark is gray to light gray. Uh, so it always has something of uh, interest uh, as a bonsai. Um, in terms of location, uh, a semi-shade location for the trident maple is uh, is what it prefers. Uh, cultivation, it loves to be watered uh, thoroughly. It doesn't like to sit in too much water, so make sure that it's not waterlogged. Uh, feed, feed regularly during the growing season. Uh, again, use a balanced fertilizer. 555 will do just fine for it. Being a rapid grower, uh, it will need pruning quite often. But again, don't start pruning till uh, lateral shoots have developed. Uh, that way you can ensure that uh, a good root system has developed uh, after the winter dormancy. Uh, potting, uh, pot on every two to three years for younger plants. In terms of propagation, uh, they grow excellently from uh, cuttings so that's the simplest way to grow them they grow quite well from their seeds or the samaras so you could use them too if you have access to seeds um, uh, as a bonsai of course they're beautiful little bonsais to have so go ahead and try them out and that's how you take care of a trident maple uh, if you'd like me to talk about a specific species please make a note of it in the comments below and i'll try and add one as soon as i can uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the videos. Uh, I'm adding a new video every week, so hope to see you here again. Thank you very much for watching.